You're watching clips, the best moments from our live streams every Monday and Friday. Don't miss out. Watch it. Okay, so we have a Rachel Ziegler story. Are we ready for it? Mm. Right. Is it weird? Is it weird? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Rachel Ziegler says West End's Romeo and Juliet failed. Frances Francesca A. I'm not gonna. I don't want to abuse that last name. Very beautiful. Written okay. Rivers, a Miss Racial Racist abuse. Oof. Whoa, racist Whoa. abuse. Oh, hi -oh. From one Juliet to another, Rachel Ziegler speaking up about the horrible treatment of West End star Francesca. As a Golden Globe winner makes her Broadway debut in the Sam Gold-directed Romeo and Juliet, opening circle in the Square Theater for 16-week engagement, Ziegler called out the racial abuse. Mm. Da -da 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 I'm calling out racial abuse. I I would want to call like the whole Michael Scott, you know, like I declare bankruptcy. And I have to do like I declare racial abuse. I need my money now. Let's... AJ Whitworth. <laughs> That'd be a cool clip. Do you like the eight seven seven racial racial now? Yeah, that's eight, what you gotta do. Now. Do like Rachel Sigler and do that. The the, the I'm being I'm being racially abused, and I want Rachel, Rachel to, to fight for me now. Rachel, Rachel Sigler. <laughs> Let me get through this, man. <laughs> yeah, I started it. A seven seven race now. A seven seven race now. A seven seven race now. Wow, wow. Has to be done. There you go. Eight seven seven race now. Uh, gotta do it. <laughs> Trouble Call with J racism. Rachel Ziegler, eight seven seven race now. Have you been a Have you been affected by toxic, toxic Twitter follower? Call now. <laughs> what a bunch of weenies, man! <laughs> I'm already like, what? An actor's getting offended? What? Call 877 race now. And I actually defended the casting months ago. And I still defend the casting because theater is like very non-traditional. You you know, that is where you get to experiment and do different types of productions of a said classic. I've I've been raised in theater like that. Absolutely. Very let me get this down. <laughs> I'm gonna keep laughing. But there is a good there is a point she brings up, but I want to talk to a bigger point on this. Oh, where did the story go? You you took it off. Did I nuke it? You nuke it. I nuke it. I nuke it. There you go. Okay, but let's go on with this with this with this story here. All right. All right. She calls out the production saying a lack of protection that wasn't provided. After they connected by her now Snow White co-star, Do Jonah, Ziegler noted she texted with support to her. She responded and vocalized her thanks for people who stood up for her in the time where everybody was tearing her down. How do you vocalize anything on text? <laughs> you, you, you basically don't, do, don't they have an app for that? Oh, you know, we can send like a, like a vocal, like a yeah, recording. Yeah, it's like, yeah, let me record. Her let Tesla, me. her Tesla read the, the tweet. So it means that it's vocalized. So <laughs> these, these kids, these kids nowadays, kids, I think she was failed by the people around her added Ziegler. You need to protect people when you make a vow to cast them in something, you know. You can't act stupid. You know how the general public is going to act because they've been acting that way for years. Maybe to you. <laughs> Ziegler uh, co-star Kit Connor said, and even if you're naive enough to think that won't happen, when it does, react. So here's the, this is Holland with the, the actress in question that was not protected. Yeah, she okay. wasn't protected. Ziegler added, then when it does, you need to effing say something. You need to move quickly and make sure that she is protected. I know you are now protected from racial blah, blah, protected. <laughs> I've never seen such heinous things said about a person before than I did about her. It took absolutely nothing out of me to shoot out a tweet saying that she was my Juliet. There yes, you I, go. 
There you go. The West Side Story star. Um, wasn't that an oxymoron? Because wasn't that a flop? <laughs> no. <laughs> all right, all right. Weird, hey, weird. I'm just being mean. I was mean there. I'll take that one. Said of their exchange, it is basic human decency and basic kindness. She got such rave reviews in that for a reason. She's a effing titan. I love her dearly, and I can't wait to see the things she does. Following barrage of abuse from her fan from fans after casting was announced alongside Tom Holland in March, the company condemned the deplorable racial abuse. This must stop, the producer said. We are working with a remarkable group of artists. We insist that they are free to create work without facing online harassment. Oh, it's online harassment. Online harassment. Oh, okay, now I know what we're talking about. Online harassment. We will continue to support and protect everyone in our company at all costs. Any abuse will not be tolerated and will be reported. Reported. Bullying and harassment have no place online, in our industry, or in our wider communities. And then a group of more than 800 black actresses signed an open letter decrying the twist ugly abuse. Yeah. Saying, too many times, theater companies, broadcasters, producers, and streamers have failed to offer any help or support when their black <laughs> artists face racist or misogynistic abuse. Reporting to this often, reporting is too often left on the soldiers, shoulders of abuse, oh. of the abused, who are also then expected to promote the show. We want to send a clear message to Francesca and all black women performers who face this kind of abuse. We see you, they said. We see the art you managed to produce with not only the pressures that your white colleagues face, but with the added traumatic hurdle of misandry. Of misandry. No, it's not misandry. It's misandry. Okay. Um, Fletcher Williams, you're, you're, you're Afro-Latino. Uh, I, I love how Miss Segler can... Turn the story about her. <laughs> what are your initial thoughts here? <laughs> she could turn it all about her. It's like, hey, by the way, let me know what I did uh, for this and all these things that, that has mm -hmm. happening. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, this is theater. There's This is not the first Black Juliet, you know? So it's like it's happened all over. And social media is social media. Uh -huh. I mean, if you're on social media... You're on social media, <laughs> you know. It's like open, open, open the, the the Pandora's box. Anytime you're out there, I think I agree in the sense that if you're on, like she says, the actors are told to promote on social media. Right now, that's that's like the thing. Before they used to just go and talk to uh, reporters or something like that. Uh -huh, or uh -huh, mm -hmm. now everybody's on social media. Uh, which, you know, a lot of people that said that's actually a bad thing for the profession because, you know, the, 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 the mask is off. But then, you know, it, I, I agree in the sense that if she's trying to promote it and she's getting hate back, then, yeah, that's that's abhorrent. But that is the Internet. I mean, I think what she's asking for is kind of like the stuff mm -hmm. that they're doing like in England and the EU which is going after people who post something that somebody else considers, you know, bad and actually mm. arresting folks. Yeah. So, but that's not America. Hopefully. Well, they're laying the groundwork, the language for yeah. it. Right. And it, it falls in, under the same thing as kind of going after Elon, Elon Musk, uh, going after maybe even channels like us to a lower degree. That we're we're us by making fun of this or you know adding uh, adding some brevity to 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 the situation. No, there is no brevity. It's not funny, man. It's fucking racist, right? Yeah. You got to condemn this, Polly. It's right. Like, you know what? Yeah. Every sane person here in the chat, every sane person says if you are doing racial shit, that's not cool. They're not cool with it. That that is already that is already a given. I I, I will guarantee you if I if I did a if I did it, let, let's do it right now. Everyone in the chat right now, give me a one or give, give me a one for yeah, racial crap is not cool. Or two, or yeah, maybe you shouldn't say racial crap is cool. <laughs> I think you know. <laughs> what I, my, the point is, the point is, is that any sane adult is against racial bullying duh 
duh. Unless it's funny, then. <laughs> well, I mean, listen. Then it's I family saw, related. <laughs> no, no, but listen, listen. I did see, I did see some really awful portrayals of this actress. Oh and yeah. They they, they ch kind of changed out the looks of her. That was disgusting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my wife was just talking about this all the time because we kind of go on sometimes on a lot of some of the conservative sites and some liberal sites, mm -hmm. and you always have this kind of whole thing where they, uh, you know, they paint uh, blacks in some kind of like, uh, you know, uh, we was kings type of joke mm -hmm. where you know they do the buck teeth and stuff, the tar mm -hmm. baby jokes, and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff that that comes up. That there's always going to be that that crowd, right? Yep. There's always you're always going to have that crowd. It's not a mainstream crowd, and it's not something that a majority of people does. Now, some people do kind of fall into the thin line of it, but most of the sometimes, I mean, you got to look. Some of those people also they make fun of themselves. They make it's almost like a blazing saddle situation, where you're like you're just making fun of everything. Then it's like you know you got to find that which is the line. Now, this is theater, like I said, and it's a different adaptation of Romeo and Juliet, and all's fair. You know, it's like you're making it a black family and a white family. All right, cool. I, back in the day, I did a, 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 a modern uh, take on Romeo and Juliet where uh, I was, where my Romeo, yes, I was Romeo, um, was, un was undocumented, and Juliet was more of a kind of second generation, like, Mexican American princess mm. it was great. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. But those adaptations would not exist without. And we did it in 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 in, in the language, and we added some some Spanglish. It was really really beautifully written, uh, rewritten. Mm. But none of that would exist without the classic. It's a classic for a reason, right? The, the story. So, the, here's where I do agree. I do agree that should there should be a certain amount of okay. Well, this is the vision we want. We realize um, it might shock some people. That's what good theater does. Uh, but let me sit down and talk to my lead. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. And I, I would advise you know what? Until we're you know while we're in rehearsal until the opening, stay off social media. People are going to be you know pretty nasty, <laughs> and then they'll get over it. But then you make this issue. And what do you think is going to happen? They're going to come after you no matter what.